Oh, the market is um, is really sending the indication um, that it wants sorghum. Um, you know, you've got uh, new season sorghum prices around the 310 port mark um, compared to new season uh, multigrade wheat prices at a 260 type number. Um, you know, the market is really saying loud and clear we want sorghum this year, we don't want wheat. And um, uh, there's a few reasons for it. Obviously, there's all the domestic reasons, which are pretty well known. Uh, the crop down in this part of the world has been pretty poor this year, so um, you know, underneath the market at the moment there's some pretty strong um, demand from China um, at those kind of numbers. So uh, 310 port for sorghum is pretty good money compared to wheat at 260, um, and I think it has stuck up uh, really well compared to new season chickpeas as well. Um, really the outlook for chickpeas is, is not that flash, so um, the market right now seems to be wanting sorghum and as much as you can. Yeah, very much. I mean, you've got um, a new season wheat supply will come on in the in the northern hemisphere in the second half of the year, um, and then obviously by the end of the year when Australia gets around to harvesting their next wheat crop, we'll have gone through two more crop cycles. Um, whereas uh, June, July, August delivery of sorghum, um, you're sort of going to get your sorghum into China before their new crop comes off. So. Um, it really is as much about the time of delivery um, as it is about just the, the products that we're growing as well. It, um, uh, sorghum is, is priced pretty expensive compared to wheat and barley um, down in southern Queensland, so there's probably not a very strong lead from the, from the domestic demand sector. Um, it's probably more of an export thing, but certainly um, just the lack of feed grain in southern Queensland will help support prices as well.